Hi everyone! Another day, another beautiful day. Today we're gonna go around Paris again with my friend because we have a whole week that's just without, we have no classes, it's just a break. Super excited, we're gonna go to a brunch. I'm gonna meet her there and then we're gonna go see a bit of museums. And I have to show you my fit for today because you have to see that. So as you can see, I'm going very vintage looks. So I have my moccasins with some white socks, which I think is really cute. And I have this vintage little coat that I found. It's uh, leather, it's really cute. I have this pearl necklace, my bag from yesterday. And I think it's a very school girl vibe look. Matilda Jurf again, which I really like. So that's the fit for today. Yeah, I just wanted to give you an update of today, what we're doing. Just, you know, daily vlogging. That's my thing now. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful day. I don't know if you can see. It's very bright outside, so. So yeah, I have to go catch the bus right now because the metro is so crowded, I hate it. I'm gonna catch the bus, go to the brunch place, and then I'm gonna update you when I'm there so you can see the beautiful foods that we order. I cross my fingers because it looks so good and I hope we get a table because people here in Paris love their brunch. So we really hope we get a table. But yeah, I'm gonna update you. We'll see you guys over there. so we can't eat inside yeah it is Sunday and I saw that there was no line and usually people go crazy for brunch here so anyways we're not eating there so forget about that so yeah we're gonna find some place else to eat because it's not happening we're no waiting 30 minutes in line and this place is a bit sketchy I don't like this I want small I'm not a fan we're gonna get away from it yeah I'm gonna try this spot right there Spot. It's really cute. Adorable. <laughs> Look at her coffee. It's so perfect. It literally looks fake, but it's real. <laughs> Anyways, we're waiting for her food now. So we gotta. Wait. I ordered a fish and chips, which I hope is gonna be good. You probably can't hear me with the music. I don't want to get copyrighted. It's very loud, so I'll show you the food after, but it looks delicious, so that's good to know. Alright, literally finished my clip and the food is already here. Okay, so I got fish and chips. So this is the chips, of course. Uh, the fish. It's very, very sparse yet. Like, what is going on? It's very... This looks good too. Chicken, salad, and yeah. potatoes. So we're gonna eat now. I'm very excited, so let's dig in. our brunch or like lunch I guess you would call it minus the dessert <laughs> and so yeah the problem is we waited so freaking long so that we had to cancel like the dessert but we decided to pay for things that we ate and that's it because we really want to go see Musée Rodin wow such a beautiful thing I don't want to scream because like everyone is very... Where is the light? Where there is the good light? Like I said, we're inside the Musée Rodin. We're looking at the statue of Le Penseur, which is like the most famous statue here. I can't believe we're actually seeing it in person now because like you see it in the movies, you see it everywhere. We're like, what? <laughs> this is it. There's a lot of people around just looking at it. And I have to show you like from the front because like we're looking at it from the side. We can kind of see his face. Okay, now we're at the gardens, which are right 
behind the museum. There's like statues all over, so there's one right there. There's like a little house. I want to check what this is. Do you know what this is? This house? No. No? Okay, we have to go check it out. This is the gardens. They have some really pretty roses. Yeah, this is the Musée Rodin. Has some really nice detailing. And actually, it was not supposed to be sunny today, and it is sunny, so that's great. This place is so peaceful and literally want to come here and study. Now this is literally like Halloween. Look at all the trees. It's giving me very Halloween vibes. Feels like I'm back in Montreal because we have so many trees that like seeing this, I'm like, whoa, it looks like Parc Mont-Royal. If some of you are Canadian, you'll know what I'm talking about. It feels like Halloween in this museum. It's like a really nice building over there. Look, you guys, they have statues inside this little house they've built. Look at the statues. It's really nice. And then we have some more over here. It's like, as you can see, this really big building. It's really nice. I guess they're protected, so that's why they're like in a glass door. You can't actually walk there, so... You guys, people live in these apartment buildings and they have like the view of Musée Rodin. Like, that's just incredible to think of. Like, your apartment gives on this garden view. And then some people can also see the Eiffel Tower, which is like two in one. Are you guys ready to see the most amazing view? Bam, look at this. How pretty is this? I'm literally obsessed with this museum. Okay, so now we're walking on the Rue Saint-Dominique, which is the most famous street because it has the view of the Eiffel Tower, which you're gonna see in two seconds. Now we're walking towards Starbucks. Wasn't the view better from over there? Anyways, we're going to Starbucks. I'll try to show you what the street looks like, but I'm taking some pictures. You can basically see the Eiffel Tower and it looks amazing. Now you can't even see it because like we're far away, so it's kind of a bummer, but you see. Basically the most amazing spot to take your pictures. If you go a little bit more over there on the street, you can get more amazing pics. Because now we're just too close for it, so yeah. Okay, this is our stop for the day. Magnificent Starbucks. <laughs> okay, so now we came out of the Starbucks, drink our coffee, and now we're at the Eiffel Tower on the Rue de l'Université, which is the most famous street to like take your pictures. It is full of tourists, but look at the view. That's the Eiffel Tower right there, like she's gorgeous. Because of like our clock time change, um, it's 17.09. It's soon gonna be dark at 17.30. 
So 5.30 now p.m. It's gonna be dark like in Montreal. So I'm, I'm not happy about that, but I'm gonna show you like I'm very close to you at the Eiffel Tower. We really hope to see it like the sunset or at least with like the tingly lights. But I don't think it's gonna happen because it's not dark yet. Let's cut to me showing you this beautiful view. Look at the sunset. It's so magical. It looks like a painting. It's giving very autumn vibes with the pink and the orange. Maybe it's even giving more Halloween vibes than I thought. Maybe this city does, you know, take into account Halloween. Guys, look at the sunset reflecting on the Eiffel Tower. This is crazy. So you see the sunset over there that looks like brazing fire. It's reflecting on the Eiffel Tower. It's crazy. Oh my god. What? Wow. Do you see the rainbow, you guys? Oh my god.